Oh, it sounds good to me. Yeah, it's, it's been a pretty crazy couple of weeks, but very happy, very happy with it. Um, we were aiming for a medal. I mean, we were, we were aiming to win. Um, obviously, that wasn't... I mean, with the Romanians, they were just, like, I don't know, really amazing eight, and I have a lot of respect for them. And I think we believed in ourselves the whole... Like the whole week, I mean, this whole Olympiad, actually, and we were aiming for the goal, but to come away with the medal was just, like, a dream come true. So, yeah, very happy. Yeah, the women's squad did absolutely amazingly the whole way through. Um, I think a lot of it came down to our coach, Andrew Randall, who came in uh, at the beginning of the Olympiad, and he just, he just changed the squad, changed the programme, but also changed the sort of um, ethos within the squad. He made it much more team-based, much less individual-based, and actually that made such a big difference, um, as well as increasing the training in every aspect of where he could find uh, more miles, more intensity, more weights, and it, it did the trick. So, yeah, it's been, it's been a great squad to be a part of for the whole Olympiad, and, and it's just gone from strength to strength each year, and to come out with five medals this year was, was just amazing. Well, I am the youngest of four children, and my parents both rowed and still row. So they introduced us all to the sport, and um, it was pretty compulsory from a very young age, and then we all sort of began to enjoy it as we got older. And they've all rowed uh, quite competitively as well, but not quite, not quite the same as me. So, um, yeah, that's sort of how it started, and it's just never, never stopped from there. Yeah, I absolutely loved being part of the Scottish rowing team in, at HIR. It was, it's definitely some of my like, fondest memories of, of rowing. It was such a fun event. Everyone gets together. It's really nice to represent Scotland as well rather than GB. And it was just, like a, it was just a great team to sort of be part of. And a lot of, it, honestly, so much fun. Um, absolutely loved the HIR regattas. Great. Um, uh, I thought about it, to be honest. It does look like a lot of fun. I've not tried it yet, and I'm not sure about the running into the water thing, but I think it could be fun. Yeah. I think I'd need to work on my running, um, but it does look great fun. Um, I'm not sure what is the next thing for me, but I'm still sort of making decisions at the moment, and hopefully, hopefully rowing in some capacity. I think for me, um, I would definitely say just keep going. I think I was never, um, it took a long time and a long time for me to make the British team, to then work up the British team. It didn't just happen overnight. I trialled as a junior for GB from the age of 16 to the age of 21 and didn't ever make it. Um, I think it, it doesn't always happen overnight and I think keep going because the longer you go, the better you're going to get, and you will eventually start overtaking people and, and improving, and eventually you'll, you'll sort of get there in the end. I'd say I probably have two. Um, I enjoyed rowing on the canal in Edinburgh. That's where I sort of first took up an oar, or coxed, and I was very small. Um, but I just have lots of very fond memories there. Uh, and my second would be at Brioni's Reservoir in California, which is where I went to university. And that was pretty stunning. And we just, I remember the uh, sun rising each morning when we, we arrived, and it was just a really, a really nice place to row. I, I mean, I just tried every sport. I enjoyed basically every sport. Um, I did a lot of rounders. Um, a lot of hockey and tennis and basically any sport that was on offer at school but rowing was I did rowing outside of school so that was at a club and um, that was the one that sort of as I got older and older the other sports stopped a little bit more and, and rowing took over I, I'm just shy of six foot so 183 centimeters Yeah, definitely Catherine Granger was the sort of 
icon when I was growing up rowing. Uh, and it just, she's always been a really good person as well as a really good rower. And I think any time you hear from her and see her, she's always, she always seems like a really nice person. And I think the way she sort of acts off and on the water is just is very inspiring and yeah. <laughs> Favourite erg? I don't think there is one. Um, ooh. I think, oh, I don't know if I would say it's my favorite, but I think doing a 30 minute at rate 20 is a really good erg. I think it's a really satisfying one to get a PB on. And I think the more, it's one of those ones, the more you do them, you, the, you're gonna get a PB. Mm -hmm. um, and I think for me, that was probably my most recent PB, which was over, you know, just over Christmas time. And it was just, great to get a PB in it and I think that one is a very satisfying one when you get it right. I think if I was going to win a race I'd want to win it in a pair just because I think that's an incredibly hard event and I think just to do it with just the two of you is, is amazing but I think to do a whole season um, I think a four is the perfect boat. There's enough people to you know to it's not so intense as the pair of just two people, but it's not so many as an eight. Yeah. And I think, it's the, I think it's the easiest number of keeping each other sane throughout the season, but also having a good time. There is a reason I'm never in charge of a music playlist because I would put on musicals or um, The Greatest Showman or uh, something completely corny because that's all I listen to and everyone uh, hates it, so.